This video serves as your introduction to Nitrous. Nitrous is a flexible and powerful effect plugin that can be used on a variety of different sources. In use, it is best described as a semi-modular multi-effect plugin. For instance, it can be used to provide a subtle modulation of a recorded sound, like an electric guitar, or it can be used to process raw synth sounds with its virtual analog style routing and modulation of effects. The simple layout of Nitrous hides the depth and complexity that is on offer. This layout consists of five different sections. The lowest of these sections is given over two gain meters, providing you with feedback on both levels of the sound as it enters and leaves Nitrous. Moving to the upper areas of the interface, you can see that it is made up of three distinct sections. The modular section, the global section, and the operator section. These sections are where you'll spend the bulk of your time when working with Nitrous. The middle section of the interface contains the controls that you can use to alter the effects within Nitrous. Note that of these 12 controls, the central four that are fixed in function, while the rest are assigned to just about any perimeter that you have access to. To begin with, we'll start by describing some of the functions available in the global sections of the interface. Because the preference sections has an effect on every sound that is processed by Nitrous, we'll start by going through that first. You can call this up by clicking the Pref button at the top of the global section. From here you can choose the setting for the peak limiter that is applied to the output stage of Nitrous, allowing choices for a slow, moderate, or fast actin limiter. Alternatively, you can turn this off if you prefer. Perimeters within Nitrous can be applied using a fixed tempo, this will often be set by the tempo of the host program that you're using Nitrous in. If however you want Nitrous to work with a different tempo, you can do so by first disabling the lock tempo to host by clicking here, and after that is a simple matter of double clicking here and typing in your own tempo. This tempo can be selected from a range between 30 beats per minute all the way up to 300 beats per minute. In Nitrous, when working with a section that allows changes to a displayed number, you can also use drag clicking to raise or lower the figure. The global section allows you to have control of the way in which the meters are displayed as well. You can change the speed at which the meters responds to any drops in volume. By default, this is set to 24 decibels per second although this can be changed to allow the meters to become more responsive with an upper limit of 60 decibels per second, or less responsive with a lower limit of 6 decibels per second. When you work with meters, you'll also notice that there is a peak marker on display. This shows the level of the highest peak in amplitude that has occurred within a certain section of time. The exact amount of time is determined by this figure here. Moving to the left of the preference button, you have the library section. This contains the presets for Nitrous. There are a total of three banks of 64 presets, with the banks labeled A, B, and C. The next button on the left gives access to the matrix. Think of this as a bridge between the modulators on the left and the operator perimeters on the right. It is the matrix that gives Nitrous part of its massive range of flexibility. Moving to the right this time, over to the other side of the global sections, you have the Routen button. Clicking this shows the exact pathway of the sound through Nitrous. And this is the other factor that adds to the flexibility given by the matrix. We will cover both the matrix and the routing in the relevant sections later in this series of videos.